Warning, the following program may contain scenes of violence and is not suitable for everyone. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome everyone to PWE on Rogers TV. We are coming to you from inside the Oshawa Legion Hall. Tonight is a huge night for Pro Wrestling Eclipse. Well, if you work for the PR team, Andrew, you would be fired because you're underselling this event. This is the biggest event in PWE history. That is correct, Sal, and look at the crowd. They are ready for tonight, and it is going to be huge. We will have the PWE TV champ, Tarek, taking on Roderick Strong. Mr. ROH is in the building. What a match that'll be, and also, it's a battle for supremacy in the women's division. Great tag team action coming up later on. And it's the match we've all been waiting for. Cody Deaner takes on John Green. Oh man, these two are finally gonna get their match one-on-one. -on -one. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome at this time, about to make his way down to the ring. He is escorted by girl dynamite, Jennifer Blake. Let's hear it for your Champions Cup winner, totally tricked out, Tyler Turma. And kicking us off here tonight, it's Tyler Turba, the Champions Cup champion. And alongside him is Jennifer Blake. Jennifer Blake shocking the world by helping Tyler Turbo win the cup and stealing it from Cody Deaner. Well, that's your own opinion, Andrew, but this is PWE's newest power couple. Tyler Turbo, your Champions Cup champion. Oh, come on, look at the sign. Did he draw that himself, I wonder? Many here in PWE agreeing with that fan in the sign that he's a fake champion. Others have said that Turba is undeserving of the cup and that he's got a bad attitude. Bad attitude or not, the man is walking out with the champion's cup, making him the champion of PWE, while Will White is nowhere to be found. That's right, and with Will White gone, Tyler Turva is the top dog right now in PWE. He has the most sought after prize. Look at how prestigious that Champions Cup is. A well-deserved champion in Tyler Turva. Look at him showboating. He has the cup and he has his woman by his side. And he's kicking us off here tonight on PWE. You will need to show some respect. This is the most delicious flavor of man candy in all of Ontario, ladies and gentlemen. This is your real champ. He is the real champ. Man candy. That's right. And in case you guys don't remember, Tyler Turva won a four-way match against three other men. Did you forget that, Andrew? Oh, he won just, he, he cheated. He got help from that woman right there. Tyler Turva. Jim Nye. I defeated John Atlas. And most importantly, I made sure I defeated Cody Deaner because none of those three are on my level. Without the help of Jennifer Blake, Cody so Deaner should be the real cup champion. No, your current reigning cup champion is Mr. Young, Fit and Stupid Pretty, Tyler. Well, like it or not, you got to give him props. He is the Champions Cup the champion. Being, 
is I'm the poster boy and the true representative of professional wrestling eclipse. I'm the real champ. The real champ. I pinned two of those three guys. The fans here in the Oshawa Legion Hall disagreeing with Tyler Turva. That's right. He's the champ in his dreams and in reality. So deal with it. Just so you guys know, on that note, this Champions Cup and real champion won't leave you guys. Because I'm the real man. Oh my God. Could it be? It's Adam Hayes. The commissioner has returned. What a surprise here. I can't believe it. Neither can I. He's back. We haven't seen Adam Hayes in PWE for weeks. He was suspended by Dr. Mask, but it looks like that suspension has been lifted. Finally. Why is the commish here? And why is he interrupting Tyler Turva? Cut the music. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Adam Hayes. Let me try this again. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Adam Hayes. What kind of a reaction is this for the returning commissioner? And I am the commissioner here at Pro Wrestling Eclipse. The last time I was in this ring, I was escorted out by security. And what a moment that was. And I was suspended for 90 days. But, you know, it hasn't been exactly 90 days and I'm still in the ring. I'm still here. The reason why I'm still here is because I appealed to Pro Wrestling Eclipse, to Dr. Mask, and I got my job back. However, one of the precautions, one of the necessary things is I had to listen to the people. I had to listen to the audience, to Pro Wrestling Eclipse, to Dr. Mask, and Tyler Turba. First of all, congratulations. It's true, you are the Champions Cup winner. You beat four other men in one night to win that cup. But I have to do what is necessarily popular for the people. Seems like we're seeing a brand new commissioner here tonight. And what, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean he needs to do what's right for the people? Look, the fact of the matter is, Turbo, if you're going to be a champion, and especially the top champion here at Pro Wrestling Eclipse, it means you have to defend said championship. And if it's either a title belt or a cup, so, tonight, your match against John Atlas will be for the Champions Cup. Wow. Champions Cup on the line. What a huge announcement. Thank you for the cup. I'm the prettiest man in pro wrestling. I'm the best athlete that steps foot in this ring. And I'm going to kick his head in every single night. And especially tonight. And I'm going to pretend that that head is yours. You're going to pretend that head is right. You haven't been in this company long enough to know that you don't mess with the commissioner. So how about your match is right now? Music. 
Bring out John Atlas. This match is right now. What a move by the commissioner, Adam Hayes. He seems to be quite different now that he's returned here to PWE. And we had no idea that this was going to kick us off. And there he is, John Atlas. Well, the match for the Champions Cup is happening right off the top of the show. That was unexpected. But the most important thing is that Commissioner Adam Hayes is back. John Atlas with a huge opportunity here to take the Champions Cup from Tyler Turba. And I think he's waving at Jennifer Blake. The Playboy has his eyes set on the prize. That's Turba's girl, Atlas. Focus on the match. What an impact John Atlas has made here recently in PWE. Champions Cup is on the line. What an amazing matchup to kick us off here. Tyler Turva telling John Atlas not to pay attention to Jennifer Blake. He's making a point. Big opportunity for the Playboy. John Atlas can't get too dis disoriented here he can't get too distracted by jennifer blake well, he's been trying to catch a break here in pwe for some time two young competitors here in pro wrestling eclipse wanting to be the top competitor especially now that will white is nowhere to be found nowhere to be found will white took his ball and went home as the champion of PWE, which is why they had the Champions Cup tournament last event. And Tyler Turba now has the top prize. And that top prize now on the line. This is set to be an amazing night and we're off to a great start. Both men locking up once again. Reversal by Atlas. Turva trying to power out of it, and he does. The showboating there, Tyler Turva showing why he's the top dog here. Some in the crowd supporting Tyler Turva. Some against him. Why wouldn't they support him? He's their champion. There's Atlas ruining the hair. You're gonna have to do more than that to take out Turva. And Jennifer Blake looking worried. Turva gets out of it though. Another reversal by Atlas. Back and forth early on between these two men and some showboating by the Playboy. Turbo doesn't like that too much. Momentum in Atlas's favor. Kick to the gut and he's going oh, for it. Be an early powerbomb here. Playboy powerbomb, oh, no. Tyler Turbo scurries into the corner. Sneaking his way out of that one. Smart move by Turva. And Atlas focusing his attention now to Jennifer Blake. Come on, how disrespectful is that from the Playboy? That's Tyler Turva's girl. Maybe Jennifer Blake was liking what John Atlas was showing her in that ring. And the mind games may have worked because now Turbo was distracted and here comes Atlas. John Atlas once again. Suplex oh from Atlas. Oh my God, huge impact. Cover, new cup champion. Kick out at two. 
Tyler Turbin needs to pay attention. He can't get distracted like that again. That was almost a three count. Could have lost the cup very quickly. The crowd heavily behind John Atlas. It's looking good for the Playboy. Oh no, off the middle rope. Tyler Turvis sensed that one. Smart move by the young champion. Turbo may have been playing possum there a little bit, and now he's in control. Oh, and that'll teach the Playboy for looking at Tyler Turvis' girl. Jennifer Blake has got to be loving this. The mind games may have worked, but Tyler Turva looks angry now. Of course he's angry. Adam Hayes came out here and put him in a match right away. He wasn't expecting that. Now John, now John Atlas is looking at his girl. Going to work on the leg, John Atlas. Looks like he can barely stand. This is not looking good for John Atlas. Turba hammering on the side of the head there. He's really done a number on John Atlas's leg. I don't know if he's going to be able to stand. Atlas is down and Turba is in the corner. Look at the strength. He is the showboat, but that's why he's the Champions Cup champion. Wow, will he retain the cup? No, kick out a two. That was close to a three count. Amazing athleticism by Tyler Turva. Atlas can barely get to his feet. All the damage that has been done by Tyler Turva. Hopping on one foot. Changing rights. What a right by Turva. Atlas is reeling. Kick to the midsection. Oh! Right into the corner. I felt the impact of that from here. Turva may have cheated to win that cup, but what a mean streak we are seeing here tonight. Well, this is pure domination by the Champions Cup champion. Tyler Turva proving why he deserves to be at the top of PWE. Tuning up the band, getting ready for something here. Atlas is vulnerable in the corner. Oh! oh huge impact by Turva. And a kick out again by Atlas. He's not giving up yet. John Atlas still has some fight in him here in this match. Tyler Turva slowly wearing him down. How will Atlas bounce back from all of this punishment? Atlas is saying no. Turva's got that headlock locked in. Atlas slowly coming to his feet. Elbow to the midsection, oh. but Turva takes him right back down. Applying the pressure. Telling the ref to ask him if he gives up. Atlas may be close. Look at Turva squeezing Atlas. Jennifer Blake definitely loving this. Her man, Tyler Turva. Atlas is out. He's got to be done. This could be it right here. I, oh, no. Atlas still with the fight left in him. Tyler Turva shocked. John Atlas bouncing back. Right forearms. Corner to corner, no Turva. Oh. Big boot by Atlas. Turva's out. Oh, and again, here comes Atlas, huge clothesline. Spinning forearm by Atlas, Turva. 
He looks like he's out on his feet. He's got to be dazed. No. Desperation, a kick to the face. Oh, and threats from Turba. Spinning wheel kick. And just like that, John Atlas is very much still in this match. And what a match this is. Tyler Turba says no, going up for the Death Valley driver. If he hits it, it's, it's, it's over. If he hits it, it, no. Reversal. Oh, and I know what this is. Playboy powerbomb time. John Atlas could do it right here. Wait, what's happening? What's he what's waiting he looking for? At? What's going on? Oh, man. Oh, it's that damn Tarek. Tarek with the distraction. What is Tarek doing here? Oh, oh, oh blow. blow. We know Tarek and John Atlas have a history. These two do not like each other. And that gives Tyler Turber the opportunity, framing him up. Tarek's loving it. There drop it is. kick, drop kick from Turva. And Turva retains the Champions Cup. And yet again, a cheap victory by Tyler Turva, this time with help from the TV champ Tarek. And Tarek gets one over on John Atlas, and Tyler Turva is your victor. I can't believe it. John Atlas had the Playboy powerbomb, but Tarek providing the distraction. And the TV champ is loving this. John Atlas is not. Atlas has been robbed here tonight. Well, Tyler Turba still the Champions Cup champion. Taunting a little bit to John Atlas. And whether you like it or not, he is the victor in this one. That is right, Tyler Turva is still the top dog here in PWE right now. Well, taunting to the fans, you don't like this, but like it or not, there he is with the top prize here in PWE today. Him and Jen Blake will be celebrating tonight, I'm sure. Atlas deserves some retribution. Will he get it? We're going to go backstage, though, now. John Greed is standing by with Cody Deaner. Cody Deaner is facing John Greed tonight, and we're catching up with Cody. Cody, it's your chance to get your hands on John Greed. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. I want to hear what's going on. I mean, you've been waiting a while to get your hands on yeah, him. Yeah, I so. have. Do you know who John Greed is? Well, I mean, everyone knows him for, to, uh, to a certain extent. Yeah, to a certain extent. You see, this match tonight, it's not about wins and losses. It's not about competition. It's not about who the better man is. Let me tell you a little bit about John Greed. This match is for that kid that every single time he goes to school, he's got a knot in his stomach because he knows he's going to get terrorized every single day from that bully. Not because the bully has to do it, because the bully wants to do it. This match is for that man that goes to work every day, works his butt off on that assembly line. Do you think the boss comes up to him, gives a pat in the back and says, good job? No, he pats him on the back and says, work harder, you're replaceable. Not because the boss has to do that, but because the boss wants to do that. Tonight, John Greed, I'm going to do things to you that I ain't going to let my wife and kids watch. I'm going to make sure they stay far away from the television screen when they see what I'm going to do to you. John Greed, I'm going to do that not because I want to, but because I have to. Strong words from Cody Diener. That'll be awesome. But coming up after the break, it's Caitlin Diamond and Jules Malone taking on Sandra Bale and Jennifer Blake. Huge women's tag team match coming up next. Special for one fall, the 30-minute time limit. 
Introducing first, about to make their way ringside, please welcome the team of the Triple A Superstar Girl Dynamite Jennifer Blake and her tag team partner, the current Pro Wrestling Eclipse Flame Champion, the Suicide Blonde, Sandra Bale. All right, we are back inside the Oshawa Legion Hall. It's PWE on Rogers TV. We're off to an amazing start, and things will continue here with Zandra Bale and Jennifer Blake. Zandra Bale, the dominant flame champion as of late here in PWE, found herself a tag team partner in Girl Dynamite. Bale has a long time feud going on right now with Caitlin Diamond. Back and forth they've gone over that Flame Championship. And Jennifer Blake, as we saw earlier, now with Tyler Turva. She wants to make her name a name for herself here in the women's division in PWE. Well, she's been doing a good job at that, considering last time was her first event here. And she made a huge impact. Jen Blake all the way from AAA in Mexico. Well, if you remember last time, Andrew, on PWE, Caitlin Diamond was tired of these cheap attacks from Zandra Bale and friends. So she said she was gonna find herself a tag team partner. And she's found that in Jules Malone. And Jules Malone already is quite the fan favorite here in Oshawa and in PWE. And Caitlin Diamond is one of the veterans here in the women's division. While well, the hype for these two has been huge all day, fans looking forward to seeing this match. Looking forward to seeing Jules Malone in a PWE ring. What a night this is here in the Oshawa Legion Hall. We saw a great opening match between John Atlas and Tyler Turva. Turva keeping the Champions Cup. Thanks in part to Jennifer Blake and thanks in part to Tarek. And now it's women's tag team action. Well, the crowd does not like the flame champion, but you can't deny her dominance in the division lately. Losing the title to Caitlin Diamond for a brief moment. Winning it back the next time on PWE. And the feud continues between these two. We're gonna get a little tag team action here tonight. They brought some friends along for the fight. Who will be the better team between these four ladies? Zandra Bale has been on top for a while. But Caitlin Diamond has been right there with her. And the crowd is definitely behind Caitlin throughout the past few months here in PWE. Well, the champ's ready for action. Or maybe not. Doing a lot of talking. Oh, and she tags in Girl Dynamite Jennifer Blake. Gonna start this one off with Caitlin Diamond. Jennifer Blake, the AAA wrestler, taken down early here by Caitlin Diamond. Oh, yet again. Caitlin Diamond, your domination on Jennifer Blake so far, sending her right out of the ring. Diamond with a nice welcome to Blake. Blake doesn't know what to think. She wasn't ready. Jennifer Blake did not see that coming from Caitlin Diamond. 
Calling her back into the ring, ready for a fight. Oh, and a quick tag. Xandra Bales jumping in on this one. It seems like Blake oh, and Bales what? don't want anything to do with Diamond. Said she's not gonna step in the ring until Caitlin Diamond tags in Jules Malone. And here she comes, Jules Malone stepping into the ring. Oh, and a quick roll up, this could be it. Jules Malone thinking quick and, and again. again, here we go. Oh, Xandra Bale, the champ, is a little frustrated right now. Rightfully so, a third pin. Wow, Jules Malone. Impressive here early on in this matchup. Sandra Bale doesn't like this. Reversal by Malone. Corner to corner, Bale hits the turnbuckle hard. Malone did not expect this from Malone. She is dominating the Flame Champion. And a second slam. Going for the triple slams here. Third time's the charm, Malone. Bale doesn't want anything She's to had do enough. with her. She's had enough. Xandra Bale could not have expected this. Well, the ref's telling her to get up. She's got a match to continue here. Jules Malone's not gonna wait. Oh! Smart thinking by Zandra Bale. Face first into that middle turnbuckle. And the tides have turned. And here comes Jennifer Blake. Oh, and a knee to the face. Both knees driving right into her face, and a suplex. Goes for the cover. Kick out at two from Malone. Once again. Jen Blake not happy with the ref here. Throwing Jules Malone into the corner. Jennifer Blake with the experience advantage here over Jules Malone, having wrestled all over the world. And she's in full control right now. Look at that knee right in the back of the head and she's choking on the bottom rope. Blown off oh. the ropes, kick to the back from Bale. On the ref side. On the ref side. Off the ropes again, and oh! oh. Down oh. goes Bale. That's not gonna be good for business. Send the cover, roll up. Kick out at two. Jen Blake's not happy about that one. Throwing Jules Malone back into the opposite corner. Huge clothesline. Things aren't looking good for Jules Malone right about now. And a clothesline right in front of Caitlin Diamond. She may be regretting right now offering up, offering up being a tag team partner here to Caitlin Diamond. Look at the concern on Caitlin Diamond's face. Her tag team partner is in a tough spot right now. And this is a smart strategy here by the champion and her tag team partner keeping her isolated in their own corner. Wearing down Jules Malone. Huge kick to the back. Xandra Bale just said, you want to see hardcore, referring to the fact that Jules Malone is the hardcore princess. Going to town. Kicks to the back. You can hear the impact of those kicks.
Malone is taking an immense amount of punishment right now, and that could be it. Well, does Jules Malone still have some fight left in her? She's still alive, but for how long? She's got to make that tag to Caitlin Diamond. Oh, she ripped her hair out. This could clearly be used as a weapon. Things are getting rough ropes. here. Kick to the midsection. Bill. Oh, and a neck breaker. Taking her time taunting instead of making the pin. And a very nonchalant pin able to kick out is Malone. Channing, we want Caitlyn, but Xandra Bale's doing a good job of keeping Jules Malone isolated so she can't make the tag. Oh, Jules Malone finally getting some offense here. Clothesline from the top. Huge flying clothesline goes for the cover, and no. Not enough. Bale able to kick out. Now this is her opportunity. Can Malone make the tag? She's just got to crawl over to Caitlyn Diamond. See if she can make it. She's had a lot taken out of her in this match. Jen Blake watching from the outside. Oh, and a smart move by Jen Blake pulling Caitlin Diamond from the apron. Jules Malone still can't make that tag. Malone now nobody to tag. Diamond fighting Caitlin back Diamond on the exploding outside. exploding back. Enziguri here from the champion. This tag match is blown oh. up here. This is absolute chaos. Caitlin Diamond's back in her corner. Jen Blake taking out of commission. Xandra Bale going up to the top. Bale waiting for Malone to get up. Better watch it. And she catches her. Oh, and a huge sit down power bomb. What a move by Malone. Looks like it took a lot out of both of them. Jules Malone unable to make the pin. That could have been it right there. Bale hitting the back of her head very hard on that mat, and this is it. Bale knows this is where she needs to get this tag. Caitlin Diamond's the only one standing. Ready for the tag, ready to get into this match. Here it is. Caitlin Diamond explodes into the ring. And this could be Xandra Bale's worst nightmare right here. Oh, and a side effect. Cover. In comes Blake. Girl Dynamite breaking up the pin. Smart strategy here. Jules Malone. Everybody's into the ring. This is chaos right here. Malone has had enough of Blake. Getting involved. She's not the legal woman, but she's making her presence felt oh. a huge shot. Malone's down. Bale's on top of Diamond. Going to work. Pure domination by the champ and her partner. Oh, and she's holding Caitlin Diamond in place. What's Xandra Bale going for here? Here comes Bale. Oh! Caitlin Diamond moves out of the way. It Xander backfired. Bale. The plan backfired. Girl Dynamite doesn't look too happy about this one. And she's out of here. She's packing up and leaving. She's had enough. I guess they weren't really that good of friends. A miscalculation on Xandra Bale's part. Ended up kicking her own tag team partner and she's hightailing it out of here. Got to watch out behind her. The champ's in trouble. Here comes Malone. Crown oh, jewels. The crown jewels, that has to be it. Champ could be out. And that's it. This one is over, folks. Jules Malone getting a victory alongside Caitlin Diamond over the flame champion, Xandra Bale. What a moment for Malone. Well, her first match here and she pins the flame champion. What does that tell you? Big things in the future here in PWE for Jules Malone, perhaps. 
Sandra Bale can't be happy about this. Her tag team partner bailing on her. What a crazy women's tag match. But Sandra Bale, what matters most to her is that she is still the flame champion. And it looks like Jules Malone might have something to say. Now, because you know, she always seems to be taking off from other competitors, and we all know that. And I, your hardcore princess, I want a shot at this title, and I demand that Xander and I we face each other one on one right now. I think that's a great idea. Big demands from Jules Malone. Yeah, that's right. Well, she Mr. Did just pinned the champion. Sandra Bale's already had a match. Oh, yeah, that's nice. How, why should she defend her title right now? Well, this is a special night here in Pro Wrestling Eclipse. Adam Hayes has her back. Although he seems to be listening to the fans here. I already wrote the one, sweetheart. Hayes about to put his foot down right here. By the order of the commissioner, Adam Hayes, this will be a title note, and Xandra Bale will be facing the hardcore princess, Jules Malone, for her title right now. What? Wow. I'm just as shocked as Xandra is. I can't believe this. Very unexpected announcement made by Gentleman Jeff, ordered by the commissioner. We are seeing a brand new commissioner here tonight. That's for sure. I don't know what's going on with Adam Hayes. Oh, he's making the right decisions, but Xandra Bale, she's taken off. As she should, she's already wrestled a match tonight. There we go, Malone's got her. 100%, come on. Are we gonna see this match? Malone deserves it. We are, the there's the rings. bell. Flame Championship is on the line, I can't believe this. Nobody was expecting this tonight, especially Xandra Bale. What an amazing development here. Xandra Bale in trouble. Jules Malone gets her wish and she could win that title here tonight. Well, it's all for the Flame Championship. It's on the line right now, unexpectedly so. And Jules Malone definitely has the advantage here. She already pinned the champion tonight. Can't she do it again? Will lightning strike twice for Jules Malone? Oh! This is incredible. Their second match in a row here. Pin for the cover. Two counts, Sandra Bale able to kick out. Two matches in a row for these competitors. Oh, rake to the eyes by the champion. And the champ did not want this matchup at all. And rightfully so. Reversed by Malone. Oh, here it is. Going for the crown jewels once again. She can't get, she can't get her. Can't quite get her up. Bale is struggling out. Oh. <laughs> Takes the opportunity to slam her down on the mat. And there's girl dynamite Jennifer Blake. What's she doing here? Why is she back out here? Jennifer Blake leaving Bale. They were friends all along. Oh, Caitlin Diamond. We just had a tag match. Diamond helping her friend Malone. Oh, a roll, a up, roll up by the up. champ. And Sandra Bale retains. Sandra Bale surprising Malone with that roll up. Very disappointing for Malone. And Caitlin Diamond dragging Girl Dynamite out of here. Jules Malone has to be disappointed with this. What an unbelievable turn of events. This was her opportunity to make a big splash here in PWE. And it was ruined. Sandra Bale still the champion. 
But coming up next, it's what we've all been waiting for, Cody Diener and John Greed. I can't believe this is finally gonna happen. These two men are gonna square off one-on-one, -on -one, and that match is coming up next. It's gonna be a good one. Well, this happened during the commercial break. Our very own John Greed caught up with John Greed before his match with Cody Diener. Cody Diener, you wanted your hands on me. Every time I leave you laying, you're on the mat. It doesn't matter. You keep coming back. You're gonna keep the wife and the kids away from the TV because they don't, you don't want them to see what you are gonna do to me. Okay. Right. Turn that around. I don't want your wife and your kid to see what I am gonna do to you. This ends right now. Dude is intense. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit. Introducing first, representing the Sons of Victory, he hails from the Dirty South and weighs in at 325 pounds. Please welcome John Greed! John Greed is one scary man. And here we go. It is the match we've been waiting for. Finally, one on one. John Greed and Cody Diener. The fans here in Oshawa have been waiting a long time for this one. Well, you talk about the fans waiting for this. What about John Greed and Cody Diener themselves? They've been waiting an awful long time to get their hands on each other. And tonight is the night that it's finally going to happen. Oh, wait a minute. What, what's going on here? All right, let's try it again. Representing the Sons of Victory, hailing from the Dirty South, weighing in at 325 pounds, John Greed. Well, that was weird. I don't really know why John Greed hasn't come out yet. Uh, maybe someone didn't give him the cue in the back. Well, let's take another run at this and see what happens. Still nothing. Well, this is certainly odd. Are we having technical difficulties or what's happening? Alright, you know. Okay, for the Roger, for, for the video editing crew, let's just try this. I'm going to announce the other guy now. Okay? Let's try this again. Okay. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit. Please welcome, hailing from Dieter Dynasty Estates. Weighing at 218 pounds, former TNA superstar and king of the schwa, Mr. DDT, Cody Dina. Well, I guess coming out first, there he is, the king of the schwa, Cody Diener. And even he's wondering, where the hell is John Greed? Nobody knows. He's gotta come out eventually. This match will be forfeit. The King of the Schwa has been waiting a long time to get his revenge on his former friend, now bitter enemy, John Greed. And it's finally happening here tonight. Brad is loving this. And oh my God, here comes John Greed. There he is. Oh my God. And the fix was in the whole time. John Greed outsmarting Cody Diener. And the crowd doesn't like it too much, but you gotta give this man props. Catch 
catching Cody Diener off guard. Cody Diener crawling away from John Green. Diener looks scared of, of his former friend. Come here, watch, watch daddy. Look at daddy, huh? look at him. Huh? Turn away. Former friends are now bitter enemies. These two men do not like each other and they've been waiting for some time for this match. And it looks like John Greed has the upper hand. Not only have they been feuding, but this has become very personal. Both men talking about their families. And now they're settling it here in the Oshawa Legion Hall. But John Greed is just laying a beating on Cody Diener and this match hasn't even gotten underway. Well, Cody Diener, a family man, but John Greed, we don't know much about this guy. Does he have a family? Oh, using the cane. He's got his brothers from the Sons of Victory. And that's about it. He used to have a friend in Cody Diener. But ever since he attacked him a few months back, John Greaves really made a name for himself here in PWE. And here's Diener fighting back, head first, onto the ring post. Greed is reeling. No one ever said this one was gonna be pretty, folks. Case in point. Cody Diener biting the forehead of John Greed and the crowd is loving it. These sick animals in the crowd here at the Oshawa Legion Hall. I can't believe it. Diener getting his revenge, finally. This is an all out brawl. Strong right hand, Diener. He must be loving this. Well, this is exactly what these two men have been waiting for for months. What a fight. The crowd on their feet. Oh, this one hasn't even made it inside the ring yet. But Cody Diener doesn't care. Calling for the DDT, possibly to the outside. Shaking hands of the fans. And what the hell was that? What oh, the man. hell? Rex Atkins. It's that damn Rex Atkins. Coming out of the crowd to help John Greed. And once again, John Greed always has the plan. Cody Diener was not expecting that. Rex Atkins joining the fight. How long was he sitting there for? I thought that was just a fan. Turns out Rex Atkins, he was waiting for the right moment to strike. And now Cody Diener is in trouble. Say what you want about the Sons of Victory, but these guys are smart. Rex Atkins now taking it to Cody Diener. There he is, John Greed. And as always though, John Greed is afraid to face Cody Diener one-on-one. -on -one. Yet again, getting the help of Rex Atkins. Oh, big splash by the big man. Will we ever see a one-on-one -on -one matchup here in PWE between Greed and Diener? Well, as long as John Greed's rolling with the Sons of Victory, we may not. This is one scary duo, ladies and gentlemen. And oh no. What is Rex Atkins doing holding down Cody Diener? And the big man's going up top. This is not good. The guns are pointed. Wait a minute. What is this? The victory don't know what's going on either. Given the just much needed distraction here for Cody Diener to slither away. John Greed looks confused. What's happening? Oh my God, look at the back. There is it. 
That, that's Johnny Devine. That can't be. Johnny Devine coming in from the crowd. The Honey Badger is here. Oh my God, he's sneaking up they don't from know behind. It. Oh. And he's here to help Diener. Well, this will even the odds a little bit. Johnny Devine from out of nowhere. Johnny Devine is here to save the day for the King of the Schwa. And Sons of Victory go spilling out of the ring. And Cody Diener finally has the upper hand. These two go way back, but it sure is a surprise seeing Johnny Devine here in PWE. What does this mean? John Greed cannot believe it. But Cody Diener is loving it. This is amazing. Johnny Devine is back here in PWE. Sons of Victory are thrown off by this. Crowd's calling for a tag team match. John Greed is in shock. Of course! Of course! You get one of your hoodlums to jump me right where I was whipping your butt, right here in my royal town, being the king of Swap. You want to jump me? What's he you want to jump me? Lo and behold, I got myself some pretty damn good backup yeah. right here in Johnny Divine. But I gotta ask you, brother, what are you doing here, brother? What are you doing here? Well, allow me to educate you, educator. You know what, John Green? Rex Atkins. Yeah, T-Rex. Yeah, let's see you do some push-ups and make a bed. <laughs> it's been a while since you've gotten to see Johnny Devine. So let me remind you who the Honey Badger is. I'm the king of Smash. I invented that crap. So you're gonna find out over dog. Who is the dog and who came up with your ideas? Cause I'm gonna beat some smash into you. T-Rex, time to go back to the Cretaceous, brother. Cause just like these ancient promoters in Ontario, there's a new breed of fighter coming and we don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Honey Badger. Yeah. 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 You're nothing. You're ancient. We're the new guys, right here. We're the new guys. This is the future. You're nothing. Salt and pepper. So, I don't care if you think you're tough and bikers. I don't care if you're the champion of your own little promotion. I don't care who trained you or where you came from. It's time some ass kickings were laid out. And the honey badger's the guy to do it, because I don't care. Divide drops the mic. Come on, get in, what a friend to have. Cody Diener with some backup. John Greed and Rex Atkins caught by surprise. And Diener, he's happy. Hey, no problem. What? Get T Rex to go back and do some push ups. Because I don't care either, but I care about one damn thing. Tonight, right here. We need ourselves a main event. So if the Honey Badger's ready to rock, the Diener Dynasty is ready to rock. How about we have ourselves a little tag team brouhaha right for the main event. Come on. Hey. I'm the king around here. I get to make the rules. So I decree, as the king of the schwa, yeah. me and Honey Badger, Giant of Iron, are kicking your ass tonight. Yeah. In a tag team match. Well, the main 
event is set. It's going to be John Green and Rex Atkins going in a tag team match against Cody Diener and Johnny Devine. I am pumped for that. What a main event we have in store for you tonight. Tag team action. Gonna be great. Back from suspension is Commissioner Adam Hayes. Commissioner, you're fair. You're direct with the PWE fans. When are we gonna see Will White? Seems to be a question I keep getting from everybody is when are we gonna see Will White? It doesn't Jen, matter. Just give when... me two seconds, okay? Hey. That's the last time that you're gonna make me almost become a victim. See, I'm Tyler Turva, the PWE champion, and things aren't gonna go down the way you want because I'm the champ and you need to watch yourself. Turva, the next time. we've got to go. Come exactly. on, the boat's waiting. So here it is, it's going to be our main event tonight. Cody Diener and Johnny Devine taking on John Green and Rex Atkins. It's gonna be quite amazing. But coming up next, this is huge. The PWE TV Championship is on the line. Tarek defending against Roderick Strong. Well, this is the match I've been waiting for all night. I can't believe it's coming up next. I can hardly wait. Mr. ROH is in the building taking on the TV champion, Tarek. Don't go anywhere, PWE on Rogers TV. More to come after the break. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a singles bout scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit and it is for the Pro Wrestling Eclipse Television Championship. Yeah. All right, we're back inside the Oshawa Legion Hall. It's PWE on Rogers TV. And this one should be awesome, folks. It's the TV title match. We've been waiting all night for this one. You got that right, Tarek. Rising star here in PWE. He is the TV champion and he's been dominant as of late. I can't wait for this one. And there's Tarek. Him and John Atlas are at odds. Even though he's not facing Atlas tonight, Tarek had some words earlier in the day for the Playboy. Johnny Atlas, Playboy. We ain't doing no playing, man. Ain't no playing. Ain't no playing. So from now on, I don't, I don't, I, like, I don't want anything to do with you, man. I don't, I don't need to defend this against you. Hell, I pick who I want to defend this against, and I, I don't see any value in John Atlas or you. Well, he might not see value in Atlas, but there's definitely some value in his opponent tonight. Eric, a top star in Pro Wrestling Eclipse, taking on a world-renowned star, an indie darling, an ROH veteran, Roderick Strong. Well, Roderick Strong is in the building, Mr. ROH himself, the Messiah of the Backbreaker. He's graced us here in the Oshawa Legion Hall, and he's going one-on-one -on -one with the TV champion, Tarek, here tonight. And what could be a classic here in PWE. What a marquee matchup this is. Two extremely talented wrestlers about to lock horns here in Oshawa. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a singles bout scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit and it is for the Pro Wrestling Eclipse Television Championship. Introducing first the challenger in the corner to my right. He hails from Tampa, Florida and weighs in at 200 pounds. Give it up for ROH Superstar Roderick Sarong! And 
Introducing his opponent in the corner to my left. He hails from Ajax, Ontario. Weighing in at 205 pounds, he is the current reigning and defending Pro Wrestling Eclipse Television Champion. This is Terry! Tarek winning the cruiserweight title. And because we're coming to you here on Rogers TV, he decided to change the name to the television championship. And he's held it for quite a bit now. And rightfully so. The man is the TV champion. He's our champion. He's your champion, Andrew. That's Tarek. And he's been quite dominant as of lately. But tonight will be the ultimate test going one-on-one -on -one with Roderick Strong. He is our TV champ, but maybe not for long. Roderick Strong will be a huge challenge for the champ. The TV title is on the line, folks. And so far, every time we've seen Tarek defend it, clearly he has been successful because he has carried that title for quite a few months here in PWE. Big fight feel here tonight in the Oshawa Legion Hall. And here we go. Tarek eyeing down the ROH superstar. The experience advantage goes to Roderick Strong. Oh, but Tarek up to his usual tricks. Just taking a second. Roderick Strong might not be used to this kind of strategy here, but we certainly are familiar with Tarek and how he rolls. Normally this is strategy from Tarek, but maybe tonight he's legitimately afraid of Roderick Strong. Roderick Strong just said he's going to give him one time out, and that was it. But Tarek's taking two. And you have to wonder if these mind games will have any sort of effect at all on a veteran like Roderick Strong. As Tarek slowly gets back into the ring, will we finally get underway? Well, Roderick Strong is going to have to get used to this. This is the way that Tarek fights his matches. And say what you want about Tarek, but it's worked for him lately. All right, finally Tarek squaring off here against Roderick Strong. Who is the stronger of the two? Tarek. Wow, Tarek showing some strength. Taking Roderick Strong to the mat, but Strong gets out of it. We all know how cocky Tarek can be. How much he brags after every match that he wins, after every successful title defense. Could you imagine the ego of Tarek? If he were to beat Roderick Strong here tonight? We wouldn't hear the end of it here in PWE, that's for sure. And rightfully so. A victory over Roderick Strong would be a big deal. Especially for a huge up and comer here in PWE like Tarek. A victory would certainly catapult his career. But it won't come easy. Roderick Strong taking him down to the mat. Absolutely not a veteran like Roderick Strong Quick with pin. the cover. Oh. After the kick out, Strong not letting up, going right after Tarek. Not giving him an opportunity to get oh. up right against the barricade. Oh, listen to those chops. What an impact. And Tarek, one of his own. And a 
again, Tarek goes into the barricade. Well, that's got to take the wind out of you. The unforgiving steal of that barricade. And early on in this match, Tarek's had a lot taken out of him. Roderick Strong not taking oh. it easy at all on yeah. Tarek. Throat first, right onto that railing. The shots from the barricade. Tarek's not looking so good here early on. And the ref's gonna start his count. Roderick Strong though needs to get Tarek back in the ring if he wants to win the Pro Wrestling Eclipse Television Championship. And he does. Rolls back in, he is in full control right now. Could you imagine what it would be like if Roderick Strong walked into Ring of Honor with the WWE Television Championship? It would be massive indeed, but not if Tarek has anything to do with it. You know how much Tarek loves that title. It's all he talks about backstage. And everywhere in Durham region, everywhere he goes, he brings that title with him. I've seen him out and about a couple times. Carrying that belt, he's super proud of being the PWE television champion. Like him or not, you can't fault him for that. And right now he is going toe to toe with Roderick Strong. Into the corner. Big kick by Strong, Strong Ducks. Oh! Huge drop kick. What form from Strong and a cover. Eric Powers out of that one. May not give up that title so easily. Some solid kicks from Strong. And another chop. Tarek's faced many opponents with that TV title on the line. This could be his toughest right here. Everything Roderick Strong does is with such purpose and intensity. Tarek's trying to get the ref in the oh. way. And that's the, the opportunist that Tarek is. And a kick out from Strong. Tarek pulls out all the stops. He'll do anything to keep that title, and what a boot to the side of the head. Tarek's always aggressive, but we've seen a little more aggression out of him in this match. I think he knows that once he was signed to face Roderick Strong for his title, he was gonna bring it. Tarek is not happy that Members of the PWE crowd are chanting for Roderick Strong. Well, it's no surprise to him. He doesn't care about these bands, as he shouldn't. He cares about the title, and that's all that matters. And Strong is choking on that middle rope. Eric's back in this one. Maybe not for long. Another loud chop. But Tarek right back on top of Strong. Oh! This is just a chop battle here tonight. Now both men just brawling. Tarek, suplex. Going for the cover. Not enough to take down Roderick Strong. What does Tarek have to do? Tarek always chirping at the crowd here in Oshawa. Well, they can be quite distracting. Slam and where's Tarek going? Think he's going to the top rope? No, he's just going in the corner. He 
Nice. Getting ready for something. Docking Roderick Strong. Strong slow to get up. Oh, he's going for that flying knee. But he missed. Here comes Strong. Oh. Tarek hits the back of his head on the mat. Both men are down. And this could be just what Roderick Strong needs to get back into this match. Tarek is winded. Hit the back of his head on the mat. That's gonna knock you around a little bit. Taking him a second to get to his feet. Both men are up. Elbow. Oh. Elbow from Strong. And a kick to the face. Doing Tarek no favors. And Roderick Strong's exploding back into this match with those chops yet again. The momentum is on his side, but no reversal. Off the ropes. And now Roderick. Tarek. Drop kick. What a drop kick from Roderick Strong. He goes he for the cover. Took his head off with that one. And a kick out at two. Tarek, his TV title is still safe, but just for now, Roderick Strong, he is pushing Tarek to his limit. Tarek, he, he might be out rolling. He's trying to get up in the crowd here. They want a new TV champ. And they could have one here tonight. Our new TV champ could be Roderick Strong. There he was. Roderick Strong could have been going for the gut buster there, but Tarek gets out of it. Belly to belly. Oh, Tarek goes flying. Strong high knee off the ropes. And this is the quick pace of Roderick Strong. Oh, tossing him down to the mat. Going for the cover. New, New champion, champ right here. no. Kick out at two. Come on. Come on. Roderick Strong may finally be at the pace that he normally likes to work at. Strong is just giving it to Tarek. But I can't believe Tarek just kicked out. Well, he may not have much left in him. Tarek's still lying flat. Crowd's chanting new champ and we can have it right here. Strong going for the suplex. Reverse. Tarek got out of it. Oh, and the jawbreaker from Tarek. Giving him some much needed life in this match. And now they're back to the chops. Back and forth. Strong out the punches, goes for it. No. Tarek off the ropes. Oh. Wow. What a kick. This could be it. Oh, I thought that was three, two and a half, and Strong kicks out. Tarek's looking frustrated, but he can't let this rattle him. Dust yourself off and move on, Tarek. Strong now, two quick kicks. He goes to the top, oh, Tarek. Tarek, no! What a shot. Oh! And the sit-down jawbreaker. And again, Roderick Strong kicks out. What a match this is here, folks. Just as expected. Tarek. Expecting to have put Roderick Strong away by now. Hasn't quite happened yet. The Pro Wrestling Eclipse Television Championship is on the line. Once again, these two men are pretty evenly matched. A good opponent pick for Tarek here to defend his title again. Hailing from Tampa, Florida. Roderick Strong. Another chop. But Tarek, the man from Ajax, is, Ajax is holding his own. Oh my god. Takes out the referee. Flying knee to the ref. This is not good news. The ref is down. Here he goes. This could be it. Gut buster. That's the gut buster. He's going for the cover. But there's no ref. We need. Oh, there's another referee. Three. And there it is. Roderick Strong, the new television champion. Oh, my God. The ROH superstar just took the TV title from Tarek. I can't believe it, Mr. ROH.
Messiah of the Backbreaker now can be called television champion. And as you said earlier, Sal, he's gonna carry that title all around the world and represent PWE. He's our new TV champion. We are now represented here on Rogers TV by Roderick Strong. What a match it was though. The veteran getting the better of Tarek. Tarek is no longer the TV champion. Yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah. Tarek's reign has come to an end by the man known as Roderick Strong. We have a what new TV gentlemen, champion. The original referee has just informed me that because of Roderick Strong kneeing him in the face, Roderick was disqualified and he has awarded the win to Tarek and therefore still television champion, Tarek. Oh, come on. That Tarek does it again. He's walking out of here with the TV championship. I thought we had a new champion, Roderick Strong, not happy about this decision at all. Oh no! He's not happy with the referee either. And a gut buster to the ref. You can't do that to one of our referees. Oh my god, this is crazy. And Tarek is sneaking out of here. Wow, that was an amazing matchup, but don't go anywhere because our main event coming up next, Cody Diener and Johnny Devine taking on John Green and Rex Atkins. What a main event we have set. It's going to be awesome. Don't go anywhere. More PWE on Rogers TV right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for your main event? Your main event contest is a tag team bout scheduled for one fall with television time remaining. Introducing first, about to make their way ringside, hailing from the dirty south and weighing in at a total combined weight of 599 pounds, they represent the Sons of Victory, John Greed and Dirty Rex Atkins. Well, we were supposed to get a matchup earlier between Greed and a... Wait a minute. Is that Jesse Amato? I believe it is. That's a very dangerous wrestler who's traveled all over North America and has a reputation for being violent and very unpredictable. I have no clue what he's doing here tonight, though. Yeah, maybe he's just a fan. He's a fan of John Greed. Come to check out the action here at PWE. He knows that PWE is where it's at. Well, like I was saying, we were supposed to see John Greed and Cody Dina earlier tonight in a match that was much anticipated, but Greed got help from Rex Atkins who was sitting ringside. He hopped the barrier to take out Cody Dina. And it looked like Dina was down and out and in trouble. But then Johnny Devine made the save and that's what led to this tag team main event here tonight. Well, I gotta tell you something, speaking about main events, during the break, I got a text message from All Ego Ethan Page informing me that he's gonna be here next time on PWE. Wow, that's huge news, but you're actually that close with All Ego Ethan Page? Please, we're super close. We text all the time, don't worry about it. Well, we're certainly looking forward to having All Ego Ethan Page back here in PWE. And introducing their opponents, about to make their way ringside, weighing in at a total combined weight of 442 pounds. Give it up for former TNA superstars, Honey Badger, Johnny Devine, and Mr. DDT, Cody Dina. Well, they're former TNA buddies. And Johnny Devine made the save earlier tonight.
And Divine has decided to join the Diener Dynasty Estates for the evening. And this tag match should be awesome. It should be brutal. And it's going to be tough. These four men, they're going to smash. Well, from what I know about these guys, is they go all out. They do not like each other. And from what we witnessed earlier, they are going to do whatever it takes gain a victory, to gain the upper hand over each other here tonight. Especially between Cody Diener and John Greaves. It is absolutely safe to say that these two do not like each other. And now we have Rex Atkins and Honey Badger, Johnny Devine in the mix. It is going to be an all-out war here tonight. That it will, and what a fan favorite. He's redneck royalty here in Oshawa. Cody Diener is loved here in the Durham region. And it's time for our main event. Johnny Devine by his side. Well, that's the man they call the Honey Badger. Making his presence known earlier, jumping the barrier as well. It's because he just doesn't care, Andrew. No, he, he doesn't. just doesn't care. Well, he should care about John Green and Rex Atkins. They're two big dudes, and they are tough. Well, they certainly have been dominant in the past couple months here in PWE. They stole the tag titles. From tag team champions of Flatliner, they flaunted them around for a couple months. They took them all the way back to Virginia with them. That they did. They've been taking out anybody and everybody here in PWE. And here we go. Main event tag team action, PWE on Rogers TV. Johnny Devine and Rex Atkins on the outside. Cody Diener and John Greed on the inside. And this one is already pure chaos, I can't believe it. John Greed just strangling Cody Diener. And there's a chair co coming in the ring already. It's an unforgiving chair right there. That's not gonna be fun for anyone. Alex Atkins choking out Johnny Devine. This does not seem like it's going to be a technical wrestling match. This is just going to be an all-out brawl. John Greed with just a look of disgust on his face for the fans here and for Cody Diener. Break to the back. Oh no, John Greed has that chair. I don't like this. Oh, and the ref is stopping it. The ref is trying to get control of this matchup. I'm pretty sure John Green doesn't care if he gets disqualified. He will do absolutely anything to destroy Cody Diener. It's personal between these two men. They do not like each other. What is Cody Diener doing? Wait, 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 wait. Ref, don't DQ him. Don't call for the DQ. Are you crazy? Hey, if you want to bring that chair to this ring right now and you want to make this a fight, I'm ready to make this a fight. Hey, Giant Divine, what do you think? You want to turn this in to a real brouhaha right here? Honey Badger don't care. No DQ! Anything goes, no DQ! And there you go, Cody Diener said it all. No DQ, anything goes. This is gonna be a straight up fight and more strangling from Rex Atkins. Now Diener's got the chair. Chair to the gut. 
This is crazy. John Greed face first into the chair. Choking him out with our camera cables. This is mayhem. This is absolute chaos, and the fans here are loving it. Flying elbow. Oh. Punches from Cody Diener, and he's grabbing the beard. Diener's getting the crowd behind him. Off the ropes. Boot. Down goes Greed. And he's covering him with the chair. And he gets out Greed. The crowd wants tables. Well, we haven't seen this kind of crazy tag team action since the Sons of Victory faced Cody Diener and the Flatliners a couple months back. And speaking of the Flatliners, the tag team champions will be returning to PWE next time and they will be facing the fraternity who are finally getting their rematch after a year for the tag team championship both teams have a tremendous amount of respect for each other and that should be fantastic but tonight it's greed and atkins taking on divine and deaner and it looks like the crowd's gonna get what they want oh they're man. getting some tables by the way, I'm all out of plugs. That's it, that's all I got for tonight. This is getting dangerous. The table is now in the ring. This could end poorly. Divine is just in full control here against Rex Atkins. Cover. Atkins kicks out. What's going on outside of the ring here? John Greed with the chair. Chair to the gut. Diener is down. And Atkins now finally getting in some offense against Johnny Devine. And now Devine is in a bad spot. It's two on one inside the ring with Diener down on the outside. And this does not look good. For Johnny Devine, he could go through a table right here at the hands of the Sons of Victory. Oh, but there's Cody Diener to make the save. Cody Diener returning the favor and making the save this time for Devine. And now Diener laying a beat down on Rex Atkins. Devine and Greed on the outside. Diener's doing it. He's pointing to the table. He's getting it ready. Here comes Atkins. There oh, he goes. No. No. Oh, and Atkins saves himself from going through that table. Rex Atkins thankful he didn't smash through that wood. Johnny Devine going to work outside the ring. Getting ready. Oh, and it's spilling into the crowd. Over the barricade goes Divine. Oh. Huge right hand, and another one from Atkins. Down goes Diener again to the outside. This match is all over the place. We're doing our best to follow the action here on Rogers TV. But we make no promises. Look how far this is going out into the crowd. Reed is going after Divine. Diener blocking. Atkins, and now he's got his face. How intense is this match? And there goes Atkins. It's all going over the barricades. We got to get our cameras out there. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Call Cody Dean or the Honey Badger now? Because he don't care. This is insane. Spilling out to the outside here in the Oshawa Legion Hall. Over on the other side of the Legion. John Green and Johnny Devine. You never know what's gonna happen when you're in the crowd at a pro wrestling eclipse event. Face oh, first face onto first. the table. Oh. 
Oh, he's grinding Johnny Devine's face off that barricade. The fans look horrified. The action is all over the place. What does Cody Diener have in store here for Rex Atkins? Oh my goodness, face first. Oh man. The table goes flying, landing on Rex Atkins. There's a cutter. Divine. Going for the cover. John Greed kicks out after two. This match is all over the place and we gotta give kudos to the guys in the truck following this action. Doing a great job. Divine to the top. Oh, and a moonsault. Moonsault to wow. Greed. This action is all over the place. And our Rogers TV crew is doing a great job of following it. And this, folks, is why you don't let a referee That's direct it. No, it a isn't. wrestling show. Amazing athleticism from Johnny Devine. But not enough to take down Greed. This match continues with Atkins and Cody Diener on the outside. Greed fighting back. This is just incredible here. What a main event. Chaotic tag team action. And a very personal rivalry between Greed and Diener. Oh, and if you even want to call this a match, this to me is an all out war. Now Divine. I can't believe what's happening right here. Oh my God. Wow, what a spine buster. And John Greed just mowing down Johnny Divine, leaving him laying flat in the center of the ring. Sons of Victory are looking damn good right now. And Atkins the pin. Is it over? No. Cody Diener jumping on Atkins. But Greed, a right hand taking down Diener. But Diener just doesn't give up. Into the corner. Diener, he's going to put John Greed through that table. No, no John reverse. Greed with the reversal. Cody Diener stops himself. Smart thinking by the king of the schwa. The table still intact in the corner, but maybe not for long. Oh, this Here doesn't look pretty. Green. Oh, and Rex Atkins makes the save this time. Nobody wants to go through that table. Atkins now setting up Diener for the suplex. No, Diener gets his left leg in the way. Diener fighting back. Oh, he's gonna he's going put, towards that table. He's going to put Atkins through it. Suplex. And now Atkins blocking Atkins it. Atkins hooking the leg, not letting it happen. DDT! Oh, he's calling for the DDT. King of the Schwa. And here comes John Greed. King of the Schwa stopped in his tracks. John Greed's calling for it. Divine on the outside, struggling to make it back in the ring. It's two on one in there. And what's gonna happen? They're gonna throw him through that table. Cody Diener stops himself again. Oh, and a huge swinging slam from John Green. Diener's out, that's it. No, Divine with the save. Divine making a huge, much needed save in this match. Just heard a member of the crowd say this is wild and it sure is. This is wild, this is crazy. And it's still going. Oh, and this is what we saw earlier. Rex Atkins holding Cody Diener down. John Greed going to the top, but Honey Badger, Johnny Devine's holding him back. These two are scrapping on the apron. Cody Diener taking it to Rex Atkins. What's going on here? Johnny oh, Devine. To this could get brutal right here. Oh my God. 
what a move by Johnny Devine taking out the big man, John Greed. And that's leaving Rex Atkins isolated. Diener can feel it. The Diener Dynasty Estates are coming alive. Oh, huge swing and punch there from Diener once again. King of the Schwalks exploding in this match. And he's now calling he's calling for it. for it. The DDT. Johnny Devine's loving it. Here it comes. No, Rex Atkins. Big boot. Reversal. He's telling him not today. DDT. DDT. There, 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 there. Goes for the cover. That's yeah. it. Cody Diener and Johnny Devine have won the main event. This match is over. What a wild match. And Cody Diener getting a little bit of retribution. But oh no, there's John Greed. Johnny Devine's Look not out, here to Diener. make the save. What's gonna happen? He's gonna put him through that table. Oh no. There he goes. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Put the kids to bed, folks. The Oshawa Legion Hall is in shock. That table just shattered into a million little pieces. The king of the schwa is down and out. And Cody Diener may not be walking out of here at his own will tonight. At the hands of John Greed. And I don't know about you, but I would definitely say that it is not over between these two. John Greed with a statement. This is not over by a long shot. Will we ever see a one-on-one -on -one matchup between these former friends? Will it ever be settled? Well, I don't think it's gonna happen tonight because I don't know if Cody Diener is gonna be able to walk out of that ring. We'll wait and see, but now, Jesse Amato getting a good view in the front row and Seems satisfied with what went down here tonight. Well, what was he doing here? And what is next for Cody Diener? Will he ever get his revenge against John Greed? We're not gonna find out tonight. Look at him.